studying physics, maths and software systems development. I chose these subjects initially because I enjoyed them all, but I soon realised that they all had a you know, running theme of problem solving, which is really central to software development. I was introduced to programming back in primary school really. Um, in P7 we were introduced to a program called Scratch, where it was just dragging and dropping code blocks to create programs. Um, and it was all about the logic really. Then I chose to study computing GCSE, um, where we had to learn Python, which was, was a really interesting language. Um, but I, I was able to use the concepts that I'd learned from Scratch, although they were very basic. You could see how they came to life in you know, a real coding language. That was really helpful. And then the concepts and you know, skills I learned from Python were really transferable to C-sharp then, and I was able to pick up C-sharp very quickly. The brief we were given for the AS coursework was to make a quiz for GCSE pupils on a GCSE subject that we had studied. So one of the subjects I really enjoyed at GCSE was music, and I saw an opportunity there to incorporate sound into my program, which would really make it stand out, you know, make it unique. I also wanted to make it enjoyable, I wanted to make it fun for people to use because that way then they would use it more, they would learn more, you know, fulfill the brief better. So one of my ideas was to incorporate common game mechanics throughout the quiz, such as, you know, movable characters, you know, lots of interactive games, that sort of thing. I just started out writing down my ideas on a piece of paper, just all the sort of, you know, mini games almost that I could incorporate into my quiz, all the different, you know, all the different questions I could do the different topics that I needed to test for GCSE Music and the different you know, mechanics I could use for each one. You come up against a problem or a mechanic or a feature you want to incorporate and you're quickly able to you know, break it down, you know, I can use this property to do this, I can you know, use these methods and these controls to do this and you, know, you take big problems and you, you break them down into smaller chunks and then it's a lot more manageable and easier to create. But if I ran into any problems, uh, Visual Studio provided you know, lots of features to sort of help out with that. So there were breakpoints and watches, which were unbelievably useful. You know, I could set a breakpoint at a certain line, and you know, once I reach that line in my game, you know, once the, once that line is executed, and while playing the game, the code would stop, and it would show you all the variables and all their all their current values. So that was really helpful in like you know debugging, like trying to work out like what was going wrong. There would always be things I, I wasn't sure of, things I didn't know. I wasn't completely familiar with the code at the start, so I was able to go on to Google and search up any problems I had. There was the C-sharp documentation provided by Microsoft, which would give examples and explain you know, how that code works. Um, and then there would also be the Stack Overflow pages. Um, they would you know, have hundreds of people with the same problem as me. Through that, I would learn about different properties I can use you know, different methods that are available, different classes, different objects. Um, and after a while of doing this, I was able to quickly look at a problem, you know, break it down into properties and methods and, you know, quickly come up with solutions. So over time, I got better at that. I would let other people in the class have a go on the quiz. Um, I would let them, you know, I'd listen to what they say, you know, watch them play, watch how they react to certain things. And um, that was really helpful. And then the general testing was just going through each form, you know, taking like nearly every element and thinking about, you know, what, how, how it's supposed to work and how it is working at the moment. As a class, we've had the opportunity to go and visit big software and IT companies in Belfast, such as Allstate, um, which has been really interesting insight into the professional, you know, software engineering world. Um, we've also, as a school, visited the Queen's Open Day, where I got to see the computer science building and all the facilities available, and they gave us a really inspiring talk about the degrees they offer and the possibilities of the future. I've really enjoyed studying software systems development and it is reinforced that I want to pursue a career in software engineering. We live in a digital age and it's absolutely vital that we provide opportunities for our young people to develop their digital skills. Um, as far as we are concerned, the use of digital technology is so important. In fact, we would place equal importance to digital technology as we would to the use of literacy and numeracy in our school. For example, the introduction of coding in Year 10 was such a way forward for growth and we're very proud of that. When you take that one step further and you think about computational thinking, that is absolutely vital in today's world and we believe that's where future success will lie. And the field of IT in general is a growth industry. Um, demand outstrips supply. So as far as we're concerned, we need to provide opportunities for our young people to get the skills that they need to embrace that world of opportunity within IT.